Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we are going to build a two horse garage. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to our modern house build as we continue to build this amazing house. And in today's episode, we are going to build our horse garage. Now, we talked about this in our very first episode when we were placing these blocks along one after another along here. And I mentioned this little box here was going to be our horse garage. And I meant to do this episode, uh, you know, as our first interior design, but then I got kind of sidetracked. So we're finally back here and getting ready to do it. So if you head on inside here, you can see that it's all kind of prepped and ready. And there's a pig even here. And sometimes there's bats in here and sometimes there's not it's very strange but um let's head back outside real quick and take a look at our horses so here are our horses and what i've chose here is to have a, a donkey and a horse so i figured this is a good combination of so if minecrafters had to get around and use vehicles to do things they wouldn't have cars they would have horses and of course we have kind of a sports car kind of your everyday car and then our kind of your utility uh, donkey with his uh, boxes on the side being super useful you know going up to the mountains with your four-wheel drive donkey and stuff like that so that's what we got here so i need you guys to come up with some names so you could come up with some unique car name or something along those lines for these horses in the next episode i'll uh, name them from something you guys picked so come up with one for each one so this is kind of our sports car this is kind of our little four-wheel uh, drive vehicle so definitely uh, come up with some names i can't wait to hear what you guys have to uh come up with i think it'll be pretty super awesome all right so we're gonna get into this straight away and we're gonna mess up our piston placement straight away also and um, yeah so we're working on our door so first things first we're going to start to work on our piston door so as you know long time subscribers know that i am pretty poor at redstone so we are going to do our very best that we can to try to make something awesome here so what you see being built in front of your eyes is my attempt at making some type of garage door now as you can see the door is only two blocks high and as you know horses will get hurt if they go over you know they'll bump their head here at the two but we're in creative so that's fine we don't have to deal with that and if you're in survival you're doing this too it's um what one heart now yeah, that'll grow back on you that'll grow back on you have an apple all right there we go all right so an apple a day will keep the doctor away if only that was true all right so we're gonna put that along there like so and put that right there all right so we're just attempting to see what we can do here we're trying to do our best i'm not the best at this but i sure do admire people who are good at redstone i love watching you know videos of people who come up with crazy and cool little contraptions with redstone it's like watching the discovery channel of like people like uh building skyscrapers you know it's like Man, I love watching you build it. And I love learning how to do it, but I sure as heck never be able to create it myself. All right, so we're just gonna finish this along here. Oops, put that one right there. There we go. All right, so we're trying to kind of walk her down here a little bit. So, like I said, my redstone ability is kind of stuck in alpha days. So, we're trying our best, we're trying our best what we can do here. Something like that maybe, and maybe bring this up here. I'm hoping this is gonna work. You know, that'd be really nice if it worked, you know? Have actually something work for once, you know? <laughs> oh, the fright of making a video and not having something work, and you're just like, oh. See, it didn't work. Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. It worked the first time. The most simple Minecraft creation, but makes Scar so happy inside. Let's actually just have a slight round of applause for novice redstone user Scar accomplished something. <laughs> oh man, I'm happy that something actually worked for once. I'm actually very happy. Um, actually, I think, oh, that'll actually work. Sweet. We'll just put the switch back there. Nice, nice. I can't believe something actually worked for once. That makes me very happy. That makes me really happy. There we go. So let's head on inside. And perfect. Works. All right, so give me one second. Let me catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I laid out the room a little bit here. So we kind of have this area kind of situated as being storage and kind of a workshop in this area. 
And over here will be additional storage units over here. So we're gonna do some fun and creative w solutions for that. And I built this kind of garage door that looks like it kind of retracts up into the ceiling. And from up here, we can probably put some, uh, let's see, let's actually grab a little bit here for now. And you can kind of, maybe we could store some, some glowstone up there for a little bit of extra lighting. All right, so right over here is going to be our horse stall. So let's get on to that now. And I'm gonna place these guys like so. And I'm going to run these right up here real quick because this is going to be our four. But we are going to mix in a few other materials into this. But for starting, we are going to trap that pig in between the wall. And we'll just fill this in like so. And I'll let him out. You can come out through there. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Um, okay, there we go. Um, let's see here. Get that up here. Just want to get a little bit of this down first. There we go. Okay, so let's grab out a fence post in a magical inventory. No, that's not what I want. I want you out and I want you in. Thank you. And let's see, I'm actually gonna place you right there, you right there. And I'll also need a gate. So let's grab out a gate. There we go. And let's see here. So I'm gonna place the gate there, open her up. Perfect. And let's see, grab you. And of course you don't never work the first time and put that on there like so and voila there we go perfect and then horses stay in we uh able to easily access the uh horse stall perfect how do you like it pig you like it i like it and um let's see here we're going to need a half slab of our quartz there we go i'm gonna stick that right on there there we go perfect and we got that all uh cleared out Perfect, okay, let's finish uh, clearing out this floor now. Get this all down here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some smooth stone and a little bit of some of our new stones we've gotten in the snapshot. We're just gonna kind of uh, mix it in a little bit just to break up the uh, design a little bit. I think that'll look nice. I'm gonna fly up here one more time and just put just a block here and there just so we can see things so it's not too dark we'll of course remove these once we get a little farther into today's build okay so let's start building these shells so i'm going to bring you across here and i'm going to bring you right there up here and across wait no that's not correct let's see so am i able to place a solid block on that yes i am hmm um let's see here i can't go here but i can go here and I can go there. Okay, I got it. I got it. It's all good. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll just run you along there and fill in this top piece up here. Yeah, so everything's starting to kind of come together a little bit. Sometimes it's a little tricky figuring out some shelving and things like that. But it's all kind of working out. It's all kind of working out. Let's get out our chisel block out of our magical inventory of wonder. There we go, place those guys up there in there. And that kind of carries on with the same theme that we've been trying to spread throughout the house. There we go, that up there. So it has somewhat of a cohesive theme throughout the house, but still has an individual and unique look for each one of the rooms. Perfect, all right, there we go. I like it, I like it a lot. So let's actually clear out our inventory. And let's see, where do we want to start here? Let's actually build our workbenches over here. There we go, build those workbenches. Let's knock out that center guy and replace it with a crafting bench. So something I've actually found recently on the interwebs is a comedy series by Jerry Seinfeld. Now, Seinfeld, back in the day, was my favorite show. And it still might actually very well be my favorite show of all time. And uh, he's doing a series where he uh, he takes comedians and he uses a unique car for each one of them. And he drives them to get coffee. Now, some of them don't like coffee. Some of them do. But they uh, they that's kind of the basis of it. They No, that's incorrect. There we go. So they go out and they just get coffee and just talk about weird things. You know, just average kind of things. It is incredibly entertaining and just interesting to see certain people you know you see as a, a celebrity type. And um, I don't know, in more of a casual kind of setting that you don't usually see. I don't know, it's very, it's kind of an interesting series. I, I really enjoy it. And I always have, always liked uh, Jerry Seinfeld. And I don't know, if you guys ever want to see that, it's, uh, what is it called? What is it called? 
Uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, I believe is the name. But it's an excellent series, and I've, I think I've finally finished today the last one, so I've really enjoyed it, and I think that's pretty good. And somehow he just finds some of the most peculiar cars. It's very interesting, some of the cars he's found, and things you just, I don't know, you never would have think of that that was actually a car. There we go. And somehow he's able to morph the cars to be... I don't know, an extension of a person, like, you know, this is the pit car that I picture this comedian or something that would, you know, this is what they, this is what their equivalent of a car would look like. It's, it's really unique. It's a really creative series. Very creative, and I, I really like that. There we go. There we go. And I always like Jerry because he, he can make you laugh and not, how do I say that? You know, not not be, you know, super controversial or say a bunch of, you know, vulgar things, but he can still make you laugh. And that that's a sign of a good comedian there. It doesn't have to go to those areas to to make you laugh. And I, I think he's I think he's always been a really good comedian. There we go. Put those up there. And those are our Christmas decorations. And now get a load of this. This is gonna be great. Alright, all right, we're gonna grab a flower pot. We are going to get out a spruce sapling, and this is our Christmas tree. <laughs> Look at that, there's our Christmas decorations. Those are ornaments. So, with magic and potions and Christmas time, it turns out all a Minecrafter has to do is add a little potion, a little magic here, and this turns into a full Christmas tree. Yeah, work with me here. <laughs> uh, there we go. And what what is this? What else would that be? Halloween decorations. And what other spooky things can we find in our magical inventory that would be good for Halloween? Hmm. <laughs> soul sand? How about soul sand? Where's that? Yeah, let's get that. There we go. Perfect. I like it, and I like it a lot. There we go. So there we go. There's our uh, Christmas decorations. And I, I feel like a Minecrafter, you know, this the Minecrafter that I pictured this house would be would be kind of like a wealthy kind of like tech executive, somebody who worked at like Google or Apple or something along those lines. So, of course, he's got some uh, some little mechanics and things like that in his garage, I would assume. So let's see. What else would he put in his garage? Another repeater? Yeah. Oh, nope, nope. That's not a repeater. That's a repeater. So he's got a little bit of that and a little bit of fun Minecraft. Uh, Minecrafters. Every Minecrafter has to have TNT in their garage. It's just it's just something that just has to be done. I feel. I feel very. That's very important. Um, dispensers. Yeah, he has a dispenser. And he's got it right above his TNT for dispensing TNT. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is really fun. Just kind of if you're building along, which I hope you guys are, is you know just play in your inventory. Look for funny things in your inventory that. A Minecrafter might store in his garage and just you know play around with it find different creative uses for different things I think you'll have a ton of fun doing that because I clearly am having a lot of fun doing it um, I think he has whatever this is I'm gonna put it there whatever whatever that guy whatever this is some kind of voodoo and hoodoo okay there we go all right so hmm what else would this Minecrafter put in his garage? How about some chests? Yeah, put some chests up there. Perfect. By doing that, you just put a trap chest next to it so it doesn't connect. I think that looks real nice. Um, I feel like you would have some wood, a little bit of woodworking, a little bit of relaxation, you know, cutting some wood, making some things. Nothing like that. I love. I used to. I used to do a little bit of building myself before I got sick, and you know, I was just learning different traits of carpentry and things like that but unfortunately when you're in a wheelchair and you can't really put your arms over your head and do different things like that building is just that's just not something that comes easy unfortunately all right so i'm gonna put a ladders here yeah, i got your ladders in your garage oh, i like that i like that a lot well guys i'm gonna catch my breath for a moment and i'll be right back all right and welcome back and also if you didn't already notice we are getting ready for landscaping out in the front of our house. And as you can see, I've cleared the land out here, flattened it in preparation for our lawns and flowers and all sorts of other things. So I hope you guys are also coming up with cool names for these guys because they need names. All right, so let's head into our garage. And the first thing we need to do is make sure our horses are well fed and watered. So we need to give them a little bit of water there. Perfect. And we'll do the same on this side over here. There we go, perfect. Okay, so next I'm going to kind of mix in a few things into their stalls. 
So just putting a few here and then I'm going to kind of break up the pattern of the ground choice we have with just a few extra little bits of variation and texture and color. So I'm just gonna knock those guys right there. You know, when you're doing this, this is up to you. Just see what, what looks good to you. Kind of play around with it a little bit like what I'm doing here. Just find what it looks good and it just kind of breaks up the texture of it a little bit and adds a little bit of nice, I don't know what, something. You can make it up. All right, there we go. And let's just stick a few more of them in here. Just a little bit of extra something there. And you know, you could throw in a few of these. It makes it looks like it's a little bit cracked or something that the concrete is cracked along here. And I think that makes it look nice too. So just maybe stick one right there. And let's see, grab a little bit more smooth stone right there. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So let's fill that in over there. And then I'm just add these over here. And of course, I'm sure you can guess what that is. A little bit of mess from our horses. A little bit of a, a little bit of poop. <laughs> okay, there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. And you know, you you know, just put a few of these guys here. It looks like you know something stained the ground a little bit. There we go. That was a suggestion from a subscriber to add a little bit of that in here. I'm trying to figure out where a good placement of it actually would look good. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's see. I still want to feel like I should add just a few more of these squares in here. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That looks really nice. So we got our tools all set up over here, all of our different tools that we need for mining and crafting. And of course, what awesome garage would not be complete without fishing rods? Definitely get the fishing rods. I removed one block of TNT, added a jukebox, and added an enchanter to the top over there. And yeah. I think that is just about it. And I think we have one of the coolest rooms in all of this house right here. This is definitely could be my favorite room. And I like how this looks like it kind of retracts up into the ceiling as a garage door. I think that looks very, very awesome. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll... See you later, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, out here, kind of run those along there. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll take some snow. There we go. Let's add maybe a little snow on the back there. And yeah, let's keep it kind of symmetrical here. We don't have a ton of room for like for you know chairs and things of that nature, but kind of just fill this in there like that. 